Okay, here we are, Unit 1D, which is again on the hype cycles, and it's even our fourth uh, go at it. These represent a few old slides whose main claim to fame is they tell you how clouds evolved. I still remember my first look at hype cycles when where clouds was just exciting. They weren't the well understood things they are today. And you will see them appearing on these hype cycles. I think they go through 2014 and then disappear. And there are various other changes, but um, this is the, this, this particular presentation uh, was in actually Unit 1B of the 2018 effort. And uh, it has actually more slides than this. I removed most of them, or at least a large number of them. Just try to get a point across that clouds are really did march through that hype cycle. They're a wonderful example of a hype cycle. And I and I say it's unfortunate I still remember when they were hyped. And actually they were more fun when they were hyped. So remember that. Thank you. All right, here we have where we first started. This was probably the first slide I ever used from Gartner. And here we have cloud computing coming up the technology trigger. This is 2008, pretty early on. Remember, it was 2006 it was introduced. So it took a couple of years to get up to here. We have various other type of green IT was pretty popular in those days. Social computing platforms, video telepresence, SSD drives, um, virtual worlds. They didn't really catch on. Um, RFID, pretty important, and so on. Tablet PC, wow, wikis, blogging. And here we have, I told you about web services. Web services actually matured, but then collapsed. Service-oriented architectures matured and didn't collapse. Shows you that things can be misleading. Web services actually did win the initial round of, a, of discussion, but they then disappeared. Actually around now, this is about the time I stopped working on web services. Okay, here is the um, benefit uh, uh, time to adoption chart. Again, nothing much in low. I don't know whether, uh, um, now we have, um, where is clouds? Clouds, two to five years. So it's not too surprising that 10 years from here it doesn't appear, it really did. Actually, mature in two to five, actually, more like five years probably. Uh, here's green IT, not so important. Blogging and social, they, a lot of these things they don't think are quite so important. I don't know, 3D printing is very important for some of their visions because then they ask you uh, digital manufacturing on demand, and uh, that's pretty important. Augmented reality, remember that's now actually nearing. Nearing the the, uh, the slope of enlightenment in 2017, so that's not so far off the more than 10 years. Interesting. Okay, now I I skipped a year because we don't have to do every year. I went to 2010, uh, hype cycle, and we have cloud computing has whipped over from here to here. So it's just over the hype. So we can. So you can see 2009 to 10 was the peak in the cloud uh, hype cycle. Um, blogging still here. Um, what do we have here? The vital private cloud computing. So that's just private cloud, which now are considered essentially at the same status as ordinary clouds. And the rest are not so relevant to this class. You can, of course, study this and the article that, that describes it at your leisure. So I skip another year, we get to 2012, and where is clouds? So clouds are coming down. They are advancing, they're going down this uh, into the trough of disillusionment, but they will of course go up like that. Private cloud computing following behind. Here's fine, actually here we see big data for, maybe I know it, Possibly it was in 2011 as well. Um, hybrid cloud computing, mixing your cluster in your data center with the back end public cloud. 
Internet of Things, not a critical uh, technology which will turn into edge computing. Autonomous vehicles, remember they're still 10 years out in 2018. As is quantum computing, yum yum. 3D bioprinting is pretty interesting. We try to do research on that in, in the department. All right. Well, I actually didn't skip a year this time. Just well, mind you, big data crawled up to here. Uh, cloud computing come right down here. Um, well, in memory analysis is a core implementation technology of a cloud computing, and predictive analytics is enabled by cloud computing. Um, and they. I don't see the private cloud one here. It doesn't seem to be here. We still have quantum computing sitting here, waiting for the 100 year or whatever it is time to mature. It's presumably more like 30 years. Okay. 2014, Internet of Things, at the totally hype. Big data's gone through the hype. There's a lot of data science. We do that, of course, at IU. Then we have prescriptive analytics, uh, which gives you the prescription to, to actually solve the problem. Um, content analytics, these are all things that uh, are enabled by large scale cloud computing. Here we have the hybrid cloud here, cloud down here, and here the in memory analytics. And related to that is the in memory database up here. So, of course, quantum computing must uh, be still sitting here, not so far from where it was, actually gone up a little. Speech recognition, that's of course what uh, le deep learning kind of really revolutionized. 2015, let's see what we have. Well, I think we've lost cloud computing, is that right? We have hybrid clouds only. The real cloud computing has ripped through to here. Yum, there it goes, gone. Um, here we have a blockchain and Bitcoin and things like that. Uh, well, this, this is of course probably Bitcoin being exchanged and going up and down and things like that. Autonomous vehicles are totally hyped. Uh, machine learning has just passed the hyping. Internet of Things is still at the top, it was that previous year. IoT platform, that's sort of what I work on, IoT Cloud. Uh, that's, uh, uh, that's critical enabling technology to allow you to manage your uh, edge computing and your Internet of Things on the edge from your back end cloud. And of course, we did 2016 earlier in the previous, uh, the previous slide decks.